Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use an external hard drive or a USB stick on your PSTV to use it as the UXO or UMAO external storage. So this PSTV was actually very kindly given to me by a viewer of the channel called Joseph. So thanks for sending this to me. Um, now I can make some really cool PSTV videos. Right guys, so there's actually several different devices that actually work with this. The first one, probably the most common, what you guys might want to use, is just a normal external hard drive in a basic case like this. And it just has one USB cable to connect the hard drive to the PSTV. So this one right here, it's a really small hard drive. It doesn't need any external power or anything like that. And it just runs off this USB cable. So the next type of hard drive I have here is actually a bit different. Basically it connects via the um, sort of mini USB cable, um, the same one that actually charges the PS3 controllers, and then it has two USBs at the end. So this USB here, like the main one, will plug into the PSTV, and then this USB here um, actually has to be used to power it. So obviously you can't power it off the PSTV because it's not powerful enough, so you'll have to plug this into a wall or maybe like an external power bank or something like that. So you can actually use these as well. What this is, is just a USB with a micro SD card connected. I probably wouldn't recommend you in using this sort of method. It might be a bit slower, but it is possible. And then the last method, which I will be using in this video, is just a regular USB stick. Um, this is also a very good method, and it's probably one of the easiest. So all you want to do now, guys, is just choose what device you're using, connect it to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on the PC, what you want to do is just select your device, so your hard drive or your USB, or even your SD card, and what you want to do is just right click and go down to format. So keep in mind we're going to format it to factory settings, so is there, if there is anything that you wish to keep, any pictures or files you've got stored on there, you will need to back these up, and you want to select capacity, um, file system, make sure you select XFAT, or well, it works with FAT32, but XFAT is much better for transferring files. Allocation size, set that as default. And then we just select Quit Format and click Start. Then just click OK. And what that's going to do is just format it so we're ready for transferring across the files. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and open up FileZilla. If you guys haven't got this installed, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But basically, because it's the PSTV, we're going to be using a FTP server rather than a USB connection. So now I'll head over to the um, PS Vita and show you guys how to set it up from there. Right guys, so on the PS TV, the first thing you want to do is just launch your um, HN Core update, so go ahead and just do that quickly. Then you want to go and start up Vita Shell. Then you just press start, make sure FTP server is selected on um, USB on select button. Then press start again, then press select, it will come up with the FTP server. Now what you need to do is go back on your PC and enter in that address. Alright guys, so this is the part where you need to copy down that IP address. So for the host, you just put the 192.168 and then it's going to be different for everyone, but mine is .1.127. Then for the port, it's always going to be 1337, which basically means stands for Elite. And then you just click Quick Connect. And then what this is going to do is just connect to your PS Vita TV. As you can see, mine is up here. All right, so what you do um, on your PC is you want to just look for your USB drive. So um, it's probably on this PC. Um, then mine is letter E. Make sure you find out what letter it is. Then it go back onto your PS Vita TV. And what you're looking for is that UX0 folder. Double click and go into it. So all you want to do guys is just make sure you select everything and then just simply drag it over onto your USB or hard drive and then let go. And then everything is going to start copying across. So I'm not too sure how long this is going to take. It really depends on how much stuff you've got on there. Um, I don't think there is much stuff on the PS Vita TV right now. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long. 
As you can see guys, these are the queued files, so you can see how many is in the queue. And these are ones that are successful and they transferred across. And then obviously these are failed. Now you don't want to see any failed transfers. If there are, then you should probably go and have a look and see what it is, and then just transfer it again. But I'm just gonna wait for this to um, copy across. So I'll tell you guys how long it took, and yeah. Right guys, so it's finally done. Um, it didn't take too long, I guess. Um, to be honest, I'm not actually too sure. Um, I don't think it says, but as you can see, uh, queued files, all files are transferred across. It did actually come up with a notification, so I'm not sure why some files are still in the queue, um, but there you go. So what we can do now is just close out of FileZilla. We can now go onto our USB, and if you go to right click on properties, you can just check that everything is on there. So as you can see, everything um, that's copied across for you to show on everything like that. So now what you want to do is just disconnect your USB, head over to your PSTV, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so what you do now is just get your USB or hard drive, and you just plug it into the back of the PSTV, just like that. Give it a few seconds to load up, and then I'll show you guys what to do on the PSTV. Right guys, so once it's plugged into the USB port, you can now close this message by pressing the circle button. Now what you want to do is press triangle, scroll down, and you actually want to mount it as UMA0, so just press X on that. It's now going to say UMA0 mounted, and as you can see, I know it's my USB because that is all of the stuff that I had on it. So now what you want to do is just press triangle again and do mount USB as X. UXO so press X on that and now what it's going to do is just refresh everything and it's going to mount my USB as the main UXO storage um, so it's now going to say USB mounted and as you can see guys if I go to UXO it's now on 5 gigabyte so that is actually the size of my USB well it's supposed to be 8 but for some reason it's 5.80 so let's just close out of Vita shell right now and we're going to start something like um, adrenaline so we can start that does the double start thing which is weird and as you can see it doesn't get any error when starting it up because we have copied all of the files across so we can test um, other stuff as well if we just uh, close this one uh, let's just go back into actually let's just prove that HN core works as well so we can now exit that and then you can also go back into Vita shell so it's actually really cool. You can use, you know, stuff up to two um, terabyte. I'm pretty sure more than two terabyte of work, but more than that's a bit overkill, I guess. But as you can see, um, this is working perfectly fine. You can also switch it back. What you do is just press triangle and you do unmount USB as UXO. So I press X on that. It's then going to say uh, USB unmounted. And as you can see, UXO is back to the normal storage, which is only one gigabyte. So that is how you do it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.